Alright everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the cave by the Midgar Zolom Swamp. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Let's uh, carry on with our quest and head into this cave. Let's see exactly what Sephiroth's been doing after he uh, impaled that Midgar Zolom on a, a big tree stump type thing. Not exactly sure what it was to be honest. Right, let's uh, have a little look at our materia setup. So we just want to get the cloud with. Uh, put the chocobo lore up there if we can. We don't really need it on him, but restore all that'll do. Uh, Air if we want to have choco mog, and then we want elemental as well. That gives us sort of a, a wind setup. Elemental is of course down there. Elemental, and then if we put enemy skill at the top as well, then we can have on the bottom just restore and all. And then lastly, for red 13, we want earth, restore all, and that's what he's already on, so that's helpful. Right, here we are in the Mithril mine. So Let's head over here. Not oh, straight into a battle. Let's see what kind of enemies we've got here. Like some sort of weird crab things. Two stage attack. Oh, come on, how many of those you getting? Let's see what we can do with Quake. <laughs> Quite a bit of damage. At this stage, Matra Magic is pretty OP. So we're going to be using that quite a lot with Aerith. That's an easy win. Well done, team. Quite low on Gil, so... I need to get some more of that at some point. Let's climb up this vine. See what's up here. Ah, oh, nice. Materia. Long range. That's actually really helpful. And um, we're going to equip that straight away onto Aerith. Let's see. Materia, Aerith. We're just going to fill up that last slot there. Just lets you attack from the back line a little easier. Let's put Cloud and Red at the front. Okay. Okay, we've got these guys. So, what do we want to do here? Let's uh, get a bit of quake going. These guys do have move, there it is. We can learn that. If they use it on Aerith. Oh, nice. So, uh, let's just hit these guys at the front. Hold out and hope that he attacks Aerith with that, that flamethrower. It's kind of a useful one to know. No, he's going for Red 13 this time. Let's hope he uses it on Aerith. Goes for all three. Go on, you know you want to use it on Aerith, mate. No, not Cloud. Pain in the ass. Alright, get it on Aerith this time. This guy's just taking the mick, isn't he? I wonder if it's because she's in the back row. Might well be. Alright, we've got a limit break with Cloud. Let's just try, um... Wait. Yeah, there we go, we learnt it. Right, now we can just kill this bitch. Yeah, it's nothing to do with her being in the back row at all. But that's another enemy skill learned. We've got Flamethrower now. Quick 
quite a bit of uh, pee for being him as well. Now let's head back down this vine. Go up these stairs. There's an ether. And then up here should be a tent. Yeah, very nice. Alright, let's head back. That rattling is doing my head in. Alright, let's uh, head down this way. I think there's a chest, yep. Right, these guys, I believe, have got something that you can steal. So uh, we're just going to try and steal something from them. Get rid of one of them. I think I meant damage, actually. There we go, Grand Glove. Got that pretty quickly. Um, and that's a new weapon for Tifa. So we'll equip that on her at some point. So yeah, going well so far. Seem to have put the curse of last episode behind us for the time being. Up to 3,000 gil. Let's quickly get this mine source. Very nice. Let's head over to the left. Uh, now... I think there's something up here, isn't there? Oh no, it must be through the next room. Oh, right as we go through. See if that's the one that we want. Yeah, it is. Alright, so what we've just got there is Aerith's level 2 limit break, which is Breath of the Earth, and you want to make sure that you get that around this stage of the game. Um, so that saves me a bit of off camera work, actually. Right, so let's uh, head through to this area. Oh, uh, look. Look who it is. It's the Turks. Yeah, the Turks, we know all about you. All sorts of uh, shitty jobs for Shinra. They really like what? Ah, Elena, a new member of the Turks. What? Did, what? We didn't do anything to Reno. We don't know what you're talking about. Congratulations, you got a uh, promotion. What do you want? A medal? Why try to stop us? Surely Sephiroth should be your main mission. Uh, I'm sure we're probably better equipped to this task than you are. Oh look, it's Song again. Exactly, thank you. It, she does talk too much. Yeah, just tell us your entire mission. Ha <laughs> ha heading for June on Harbour. Yeah, don't let Sephiroth get away, or you might get fired as quickly as you got promoted.
A new weapon? What new weapon are they getting? Why is that? I guess it's uh, not exactly the mission to get Aerith anymore then. I suppose it does us a favour. Let's go in here. And there's an elixir for us. Very nice. And then just up here is a higher potion. So we get those. And another battle. I'm going to cure up pretty quickly in this one. Let's match magic these sons of bitches. How many goes are they getting? That's it. Go on, Aerith. Get them. Boom! See you all later. That spell is so OP. Nice. Restocking on the gill quite nicely. Let's quickly climb up this bit of tree. Uh, and then head out. And we're outside the cave. It wasn't a very long exploit in the cave, was it? How was this thing? It's a giant bird statue. Let's go and see what this is. Hi mate, nice statue. Yeah, they've been fighting Shinra. Uh, yeah, where's Junon? Tell us where that is. Head north. Keep going and you're running to Junon. Sits in the shadows of a small hill. Okay. Uh, okay, he's still chatting shit. Yeah, we'll help you. May as well while we're here. We are the good guys after all. Let's go up and see what they want. Kind of an inconvenient way to get in and out of your house. To climb up a ropey ladder. Alright. Let's uh, go up this one as well. He's just sitting down over here. Why is that? There's a rope that anyone could climb up. Oh, they're in the middle of fighting Shinra right now. Yeah, right, let's see what you got to say. A massive bird statue. Oh, and a reactor. Oh, there's a special materia up there. Hmm. Wait, it's an actual bird? Protect the egg! So basically you want our money, do you? Yeah, why not? Maybe we can get some cool rewards for doing it. Let's see what else is around this area. Oh, there's a ladder. I wondered what was going on there. No, this is just a shop, I think. Yeah, we don't need any of this crap. Head back down. Alright, let's go up here and see the uh, the battle commander. I bet he's a really war hero looking guy. If 
we can actually... There we go. Oh no, it's just that guy that we saw down the stairs. The feeble looking dude. Right. Four hundred gil. Eight thousand gil. Right. Okay. No, we've heard enough. Uh, no, we'll wait. We'll we'll do that in a sec, mate. We'll save up some more gill so that we can get the soldiers that we need. So that's what I'll do off camera. But that is going to do it for this episode. So in the next one we're going to take on that little mini game. See if we can defend this place from Shinra. Um, so yeah, as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video click on the like button. And I'll see you all next time.